a new age religion, folks. It's going to have a worldwide leader. A charismatic political and religious leader that they call Lord Maitreya. At least so far that's who they call him, or that's what they call him. This individual, as far as I know, has not made his public appearance yet, but the New Agers claim that he is on the earth at the present time. They claim that he came to live with the Asian community in East London, England, in July 1977 by descending from his ancient retreat in the Himalaya Mountains along the border of India and Tibet. They further believe that his imminent emergence into full public view is assured. They also claim that this individual is the one that the Christians call Christ, the Jews call the Messiah, the Buddhists call the Fifth Buddha, the Hindus call Krishna, and the Muslims call the Imam Mahdi. In other words, all of the major religions of the world are awaiting the arrival of this one individual. It is their claim that this one individual living now in London is the one expected by all of these religions. However, when we search London with a fine-tooth comb, we can find no trace of any living individual named Maitreya or fitting this description or recognized as this religious leader. Isn't that strange? And they say that he is on the earth now, patiently waiting for the appointed time to reveal his existence to the peoples of the world. Isn't that strange? And they say that he is on the earth now, patiently waiting for the appointed time to reveal his existence to the peoples of the world. They say that he will apparently assume the leadership of all of these religions, and when he does, he will create a one world religion. The New Agers have written that in the esoteric tradition previously defined as being intended for or understood by only a cho chosen few as an inner group of disciples or initiates, in other words, the esoteric, means hidden. They claim that the word Christ is not the name of an individual, but the name of an office or function within the spiritual hierarchy of masters. They claim that the masters are a group of perfected men who have guided human evolution from behind the scenes for centuries, and they believe that this Lord Maitreya is that Christ. P. Hall has written of this individual by identifying him as, quote, the way, the truth, and the life, which coming to every life redeems all who accept it, unquote. Tex Mars has quoted this individual as saying, quote, my army is ready for battle, my masters of wisdom and myself at the head, that battle will be fought for the continuance of man on this earth, rest assured that my army shall triumph, unquote.
appears that the battle to be fought between the followers of Lord Maitreya and the rest of humanity is still in the future. But at least one of the participants has an army already prepared. How about you? So according to this vision, a child born on February the 5th, 1962, will grow up to bring a one world religion onto the face of the earth and his efforts will be successful in 1999. The New York Times newspaper folks ran three consecutive articles on the conjunction of five planets, the sun, the moon, and an invisible body that astrologers call Ketu, starting on February the 4th, 1962. The first article stated that the various bodies moved into rough alignment in the constellation Capricorn at 7.05 a.m. New York Times. A Capricorn remembers the goat. In history, the goat was the goat of Mendes, or the ram and the newspaper article also says that they would remain in that alignment until 7.17 a.m. New York time Monday. The goat of Mendes, the ram, is also another word or another name for Lucifer, Satan. The Times carried another article the next day, Monday, February the 5th, 1962, the date that this supposed child was born, and it repeated the concern of the Hindu astrologers. In fact, that headline read, Hindu astrologers still say it's doomsday. And the subheadline read, Peaceful beginning of planetary event is viewed gravely. Now, In any event, these people claim that the Lord, Maitreya, will appear shortly to the entire world and start everyone off on a road to a one-world religion. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, in her book entitled The Secret Doctrine, called him, quote, the Dragon of Wisdom, unquote. So the world awaits the visible appearance of Lord Maitreya. So ladies and gentlemen, dear listeners, so that you would realize that I'm not making any of this up, I took last night's program and tonight's program verbatim from the introduction all the way through chapter three of a book entitled The New World Order by my good friend A. Ralph Epperson.